All right, let's do a deeper dive into Synopsys CCAD and um, some of the automated extraction routines that they have. Um, this particular project can be found in, um, where is it found? Well, we'll get to that later. Um, let's see if it's... Anyway, so you have everything going to be drawn in Centaurus to, uh, Structure Editor and it, the variable is just what the gate length is. And you have a flag of PMOS or NMOS. The first one, um, the VDD value is set to one for everything, but in the code, depending on whether it's NMOS or PMOS, it changes the voltage from positive to negative. Um, so if it's N-type, then you do this, all right? And if it's P-type, and so you can see it sets a, a value, and this is a, the tickle language, um, it sets it to one. So whenever it should do a voltage, you'll see sine times a variable, and that makes it positive or negative. That way the code is the same for NMOS and PMOS. And if you look, you can see that it sets the drain to VD to a small value. Um, VD linear, all right. And then sweeps the gate all the way up to VG. So VD linear is 50 millivolts and um, VDD is one, so essentially it puts VDD small and sweeps VG, so it's all linear, right? And then this actually, ID VG underscore lin, is like a variable to turn it off and on. So if you look here, if that variable is set to one, it doesn't go. And these look like comments, but if there's no space, it doesn't act like a comment. It just works. So these simulations, though, are really long. OK. So it's taken a linear curve, and what will it extract? All right, something called VTGM, VTI linear, ID linear, subthreshold slope linear, and GM <coughs> linear. And then you can come down here, and it's got these built-in things. I'm not going to go into how to write it, but it has, there's a command, extract VTGM, VTI, extract extremum, which is a max or a min, it says max, so you put it right there, and subthreshold full slope, and extract GM. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you. If you go to help uh, manuals, right, that's the, the visual extractor tool. So click on Centaurus Visual, which has more tools than inspect. And here's the standard things that you can uh, build in. So computes all the absolute values. Of, of everything in the list. Takes the first order derivative of something. Extract the breakdown voltage. Extract the breakdown voltage and breakdown is defined as a bias voltage when the current reaches a certain level. So you just tell it whenever the voltage is equal to this that's the breakdown voltage. It's a very quick way of extracting something. Here, it's the breakdown voltage, 
but it's defined at the maximum voltage that can be applied to a contact. It's a little more complicated. This is the early voltage, which in um, MOSFET terms would be like lambda term. Um, the output resistance and saturation. Here, extract extremum is just find the maximum or the minimum. All right. But here, what is GM? GM is DI, D, V, G. All right. Now, um, that first one, because we kept VD much, much smaller than what we're sweeping VG, that's the GM from the linear method. All right. Um, Subthreshold slope. It's the slope, take the derivative of the log of ID, right, in the linear region, right? Uh, Subthreshold swing, you can extract values. Uh, VTI extracts the threshold voltage from an IV curve, and it's defined when the drain current reaches a current level. So it's you just say it's, it's like the easiest way to extract threshold voltage is that when the current hits a value, that's it. Now, how do you find that current? Well, you find the threshold voltage like a different method, right? But uh, like, for instance, VTGM method. So it extracts the threshold voltage using the maximum transconductance method. So basically, you take the difference, you take the derivative of the IDVG curve, right? That's GM, that'll have a maximum. And then you find the slope from that maximum downward and where it hits the x-axis is the threshold voltage. Then once you find that current, right, you can then use a much simpler way to find it. And you know, that's a little bit beyond the scope of today's conversation. Um, so if we go back here, it, it's extracting VT GM, but it's on a linear ID VG. Extract it, the current method on an ID VG linear. Find the ID max on when it's linear. So threshold flow slope when um, you do a linear curve and extract uh, the GM, right? But it doesn't, you know, it'll print out VT maximum GM method is VTI, blah, 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 blah. and this will print out. Um, here, if you double click on it, uh, it'll it'll print that out. Well, that's the that's the input tickle. Seems to have not calculated yet. So it's doing um, this. Now something else I did is so that you can see the curves automatically. Right click, edit input commands. Nope. Right click properties and click on interactive. So that when this runs, the actual plot that it's using will pop up. All right. Now, this is IDVG under saturation. So if you go and do everything. Ramp the drain to VG, uh, VD, sorry. And it goes to put this expression, sine times VDD into that. So sweep VD, now instead of just something small, to VDD, as big as it can be. Then sweep VG. So that means it should be, it, it won't be in saturation the whole time but it'll be kind of in saturation. So then, as visual, it, 
extracts the threshold voltage from the current method, finds the maximum uh, ID, what's the minimum um, I off. So when it's off, what is the current? It does the sub-threshold sub sub slope again, but in saturation, and it finds the maximum uh, GM. And then it prints this to the, right? So these things are all for saturation. All right. Now, um, these simulations are quite slow, so I cannot just try to wait. So this one, we have another simulation. And again, if IDVD equals zero, don't run it. And let's see what it's doing. I have a feeling that it's, um, this is doing IDVD. Uh, you know, you're stepping VG and sweeping VD, the classic family of curves. Um, maybe visual will tell us. Plotting ID VDS curves. And it's just automatically finding them and then plotting them. And this, these parameters all right, there's one. It's finding the on resistance. So when you're in sim when you're in uh, saturation, one over that slope gives you the resistance. So that's the gives that. Then it's doing a CV curve. So it's a little bit different. Same device. You have to do so. You have to kind of turn it into a circuit like spice except it's the device is a tcad model and where is it ac coupled so the frequency of it is one six uh, megahertz and then it sweeps the voltage and you can get a cv curve And one means, I uh, just want to double check. Yeah, one means do it. All right. Then the final. It's going to read in all this data. And I believe. So it, it does more than just, um, this is finding the CV things like, and I'm not too familiar, but you have, oh, CGM, CGO, and CGP. Um, You know, it could be that um, that is the curve fit for the diode. And M is the grading coefficient, O is CJ naught, P, the, and that should have, um, ah, okay. A, uh, spice diode model it has a junction voltage has a grading coefficient usually called m and then it has this uh, scaled capacitance but they've got it called p because in spice they call it phi 
PHI instead of VJ when you're working with um, MOSFETs. If it was a diode, it would be M for M would stay the same. VJ would be for the built-in voltage, and CJ not would be the other value. So yeah, this this gives you almost. So if you have the threshold voltage, and uh, you can get KP, you you have a pretty good spice model at that point. Um, I am going to end it here.